Okay, so here we are going to um, draw one of the artist's cakes um, and we are going to start by doing a continuous line drawing. So I'm looking and drawing at the same time. So at the moment I'm drawing it quite lightly. So then if we do make any mistakes, it's fine to erase. So I'm just getting that basic ellipse shape and then I'm going down. See how I not taking my pencil off the page. I'm just trying to get that basic shape first. And it's much, much easier to look, draw, look, draw, and then create a continuous line drawing before you add any detail because you just want to get that shape correct first. So there we have our shape. I then want you to use the mark making techniques that we've been learning to add some tone to it. So I am looking at this image here and now I'm not going to do any continuous line because I'm actually just trying to build up the tone. So go along with the kind of contours of the form. So here, obviously, there's straight lines. So I'm just going to add some straight lines here and here as well. So we want to have a variety of tones. So I'm going to make that look lighter there. I'm looking at the drawing as... I'm looking at the painting, sorry, as I am drawing. So I am gradually adding tone. There's lots of different tones here, as you can see. And then on the top here, there's like a bit of a, a kind of flower decoration. So I'm just going to add some tone here, but that's the lightest area. So I'm just going to keep scribbling and kind of, you know, this, the cake here has a very shiny kind of icing. So there's quite a lot of um, shadows as well, like coming from this plant that we can see. So if you notice that I'm changing the pressure of my pencil, these are sketches. I don't want you to spend a really, really long time on these because I'm getting you to practice your tone, your mark making, um, and just kind of having a bit of a practice really. I'm pressing much harder for the darker areas as I go along. So as you can see, that all, the, oops, all those different tones are really starting to build up. You know, you might even want to use your pencil on the side just to kind of build it up. So I've got some hatching here. I might even want some scribbles just to kind of build up that tone. So, and it adds a bit of texture to it. It'd be really good with the kind of sponge paintings that the artist has done because it would add some texture. I'm just kind of gonna go along and tidy up these edges here. So, see, I'm being really, really, really sketchy with it. And I'm just going to tidy up that edge like that. Make that a little bit darker. And there we go. So I want you to be really, really sketchy. I know lots of people get really scared when they do sketches because it doesn't look neat. But don't worry, we've been looking at mark making and we want to kind of express ourselves with marks. So there's a basic drawing. I'm just going to put some detail in that rose. So I'm going to press even a little bit harder. When it comes to adding dark shadows, always leave that till the end. Don't go straight in with the dark tones because actually it's a really nice way to kind of build up right at the end. I'm going to go, go around. Sorry, my door is moving. You can probably hear it. There we go, it's slammed. So there we go, there is that cake. But to make it look even more 3D, we want to add a bit of a shadow. So on this painting, there is a shadow here. So I'm just going to add a, a shadow there, like so. And I probably want to make some of these areas a little bit darker. Let's get some cross hatching. There we go, it's really starting to take shape. Let's make that look more like a rose. This more like a leaf. Let's add a bit of a shadow there. See, I'm not being neat at all. And obviously we wanna make this look rounded. So let's add some round lines like so. Some round lines here. Some round lines there. Let's neaten this bottom bit area here. And there we go. There is a sketch of one of the artist's cakes.